I got a call today from a guy in Philadelphia that said that there's still 400 people in jail in Philadelphia. This is from the protest last week. These people were arrested on the street for protesting. I'm sure some people will drop some things or threw some things, but I can assure you that for the most part, the police are far more out of control. Anybody who's been in any of these protests knows that the police are completely out of control. They have some insane, they have some sort of ins insane agenda. They just shut everything down immediately. They just immediately start beating everybody up. They block off any street they feel like they can block off. They do whatever they want. I'm not surprised so much by the police's actions. That's sort of what they do. That's what they do for a living. At this point, it's a professional job just to be a fucking wall, a tool. What I'm more surprised about is the, compli the, the sort of complicity of the media, which is insane. Anyone who's at these Washington, D.C. protests knows the Washington Post is, is basically completely full of shit. When they write about... The first day when the police illegally kick everybody out of this warehouse where they're uh, organizing the protests and just use some very flimsy uh, kind of uh, reason along the lines of that it was unsafe or, uh, I don't know, you weren't allowed to cook your dinner there or something. I'm not sure what they were kicked out for, but anyone, anyway, they were all kicked out and the place was locked up. The next day the Post wrote an article that said basically that the only thing that was still in there was the B.O. of the protesters. This is in the front page of the Washington Post. Um, what the fuck? The B.O.? The body odor? <laughs> but I didn't see in that article, and I would like to see, and I'd like to know exactly what the police smelled like. I have a good idea. There's people being held on million dollar bails for misdemeanors. There's people being beaten up in jail. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm actually a little, uh, I'm a little fucking scared about this. Uh, and, I, and I don't know how many of you all have been to these protests. I don't know how many of you plan to go to protests. But I think at this point, the only response is to turn out in as big numbers as possible for everyone to get a little more involved. For those of you in the media to talk to your editors about exactly what their mission is and just talk to yourself what your mission is at this point. Um, this is a song about that. This is a song about the... Uh, this is a song about what I kind of figured would never really happen, which would be having to defend yourself against the people that are supposedly protecting you. This is a song called Keep Your Eyes
Thanks to Ann and Laura and everybody else who's been working on the Fun Renault program this year. Thanks to you all for traveling down. Thanks especially to Mark Anderson and Father Forge helping on the tables. And especially to Father George, who you'll see him wearing a yellow shirt. His name is on the front. His name is Father George. You can see him. Tell him thanks. and the 30 Cent Thieves, and then Monday's the last show, that's the All Scars, uh, Q Not You, and Calabas. Please come out.
through the blades and things concave Every smile that marks a lie Past your coat, life with desire Dressed in silk and flavored milk Bread and bone and finally hold I will sell you a whistle What you cannot own
going! They've come out twice before! across the street. Thanks. And please, please pick up your trash. Take out your trash. Are they done, Mike? I think they're done. It was a wood stove. And it was all. Dude, I'm going to get struck by light.